Welcome back everybody to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an episode, or not really an episode, but a video on my gear setup. I have gotten a lot of questions and comments in my videos asking me what my gear setup is for the game. And I did tell you guys I'd put out a video, well today's that time. Uh, I did hope to release this a little bit earlier, but I just got busy with some other stuff. But now that I am currently not busy with anything else... I will be able to go through my entire gear setup and why I use these things that I use and what I can do with them. First of all, probably the most important part of my inventory is my sword, the Humiliator Sword. Now, the only important part about this sword is what it says, so can't really go down. Okay, so what it says is at the bottom there, might is unlimited for 10 seconds after killing a captain. Now. This is the most important part of the sword because, like it says, after I kill a captain, my might is unlimited for 10 seconds. And I've gotten probably around 100 comments um, all throughout all of my videos asking me why my might doesn't deplete after I kill a captain. Alright, so here we go. We got a supply raid with two captains. Let's go in. This horde's more precious than your stinking lives. No one touches it. We need that gear. And those fool guards don't need to be breathing. Alright, so we have two captains. And he's vulnerable to stealth. Alright, so let me just show you this the fast way. Oh, three captains. There's another one over here. Rat hunter. So let me just get some might first. You're about to get crushed. And it looks like it's my job to do it. Alright. Let's grab... Oops. Did not want that to happen. Am I down? No. Alright. So let's, like I said, grab some might real quick. Alright. So now that I have a Karagor and there's four captains, I'm going to go ahead and take out this guy with my little trick here. Knock him over. Do the Karagor execution. He's dead. All right, so that's one captain. Now that a captain has been killed by me, I have unlimited might for 10 seconds. And the best part about this is, say, he's a berserker, so I can just, there we go. So it's been 10 seconds. So my unlimited might has run out. So let me go ahead and kill this guy. All right, so Scoth Rat Hunter is dead, right? I've got another 10 seconds of unlimited might. Now that 10 seconds does not stack. So you have 10 seconds to kill another captain to get another 10 seconds. So 10 seconds just ran out, I killed another captain, now I've got another 10 seconds. And it just keeps going on like that. So you can't keep killing captains and it'll stack because that's not what it does. It'll just reset the 10 seconds. So. I would say that's probably the most important part of my gear set. Now, the rest of the stuff is actually pretty easy to explain. I have a um, feral dagger. It doesn't matter what you put, but what I'm just going to showcase the stuff that I have. So I have a feral dagger and a feral ring. So the dagger gives me reduced calm mount cooldown by 14%, and then plus the other thing, which doesn't really matter. And then the other piece gives me reduced calm out cooldown by 14% again. Having two of these, having two of the same tribe in your um, inventory is beneficial because it unlocks the first tier at the bottom. So the only reason I'm using two of the feral tribe is because now I can shadow mount unbroken grogs, which I use very often in fortress assaults. That's the reason I have that. Now I have a dark bow and a dark cape or cloak so the reason i have those two is the dark bow gives me increased poison damage to enemies by 33 percent and i use poison sometimes not entirely often though and my cloak gives me increased poison damage by an, or two enemies by 33 percent again and the reason i have this cloak is mainly for reduce the duration of curse by 90 percent when you're cursed what happens is you are going to lose all of your um, 
your entire wrath bar, the blue bar to the right, bottom, bottom left, but to the right side, that whole bar is going to deplete. But now that I have a dark cape on, it only depletes 10%, which is extremely useful. That's disgusting. Which is extremely useful when I'm trying to get it all the way up and someone hits me with a curse weapon, I'm only going to lose 10%, which is very easy to get back. So that's the reason I have that dark cape. And the reason I have two pieces of gear in the dark tribe is because there at the bottom it says gain one might when enemies take damage from your poison. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but one might to let's say there are 15 guys around you and you do a this move here when you do elven light and you have poison on there so let's change this one to fire arrows say you have elven light and you put poison on there you're gonna get a lot of might by doing that so let's go ahead and demonstrate that real quick i just need a large crowd i need somebody to chase me you chase me. Let's go ahead and waste one so I can show you how my might goes up. All right, so here's our crowd here, and I'm gonna activate the poison. Huh, why didn't that work? Oh, it's because they killed him immediately. Okay, well, as long as they don't die immediately, it will work. So let's try this again with the old log. Hopefully this doesn't kill them instantly. Yeah, see, so my might's going up because he didn't die instantly. So imagine you had a group of guys who didn't die instantly from your poison. One recommendation for you guys is if you're going to have a bow, make sure it's a long bow. If you go three ticks down, you see that my bow there is a long bow. Charge shots pierce through enemies. So let's go ahead and show that off. Let's get one guy. All right, there we go. He's dead. So, here, let's get, let's line them up real quick, like that, and let's put one arrow in. It didn't go through. Now, what a longbow does is you charge a shot, obviously I just read it, but you charge a shot and it goes through multiple guys. So, I'll charge my shot, and it kills them both. That's extremely useful late game because you'll be able to get rid of larger groups of enemies in one go. Or, I don't know, a couple goes. It doesn't take very long, that's the point. And you can find longbows everywhere, they're not rare at all. They're literally everywhere. All right, and my last piece is the Servant's Blackened Armor, which you will get after you beat the campaign. You cannot get this before you beat the campaign. You have to get it, you, you can only acquire it, sorry. You can only acquire this piece of armor after you beat the Shadow Wars. But it says allied grunts have a 40% chance to resurrect when they die. This isn't actually extremely useful. Um, I personally, this doesn't even have much of a use for me and my playing style. I just like the way it looks, which is the only reason I use it. And 25% chance that a critical hit applies curse. So I guess that is useful. Um, just, seeing as, just seeing that I have a way to apply curse damage. Other than that, I don't really use it for a specific reason but that's my gear setup and now for my the reason i do so much damage is because i have these on everything i use these are perfected warrior gems all the way to the right and i only use perfected warrior gems so let's let's take a look at this 30 percent increased weapon damage with this weapon 30 percent increased damage with this weapon 30 percent increased damage with this weapon all right that's only on the first three so then we go to our armor, which is a 15% increased damage with all attacks. Again, 15% damage increase with all attacks. So that's another 30 on top of this 30. Or percentages actually don't work like that, so it's not 60, I don't think. It's a percentage, and then it's a percentage of the next percentage. So we're just going to not dive too deep into math right now. Now, the reason I do so much damage is because, A, I'm a level 80. That's max level. B, I've got all these perfected warrior gems on. And C, my skill tree is on crack. 
critical hit damage 50%. So I do 50% more critical hit damage to enemies when I hit them because I maxed out this skill tree here. And it's actually very useful because it's pretty easy for me to kill guys now. Our last thing here is only useful for sieges or um, fortress assaults. 30% increased damage, increased follower damage. So all of my followers, I'm not sure if that includes grunts, deal 30% extra damage. So I used to have the white perfected gem, the not the life gem, the wealth gem on there. Because what that does is it increases your followers level by five upon domination. The only reason I used to use that was because I was lazy and I didn't feel like leveling them up manually. Um, I wouldn't even call it laziness. It's just more convenient, honestly. But I've put aside convenience for damage. You can see that by my full set of perfected warrior gems. But other than that, that's pretty much my entire skill tree and my, um, I wouldn't say my playstyle breakdown, because that, that would actually have to, I'd have to show you my playstyle, I can't really explain it. I don't play smart, I just run in and kill people. It's kind of just what I do. I focus entirely on damage output during this playthrough, because on the mode that I'm playing on, and I'll show you what happens when you get hit on the mode I play on, you lose half your health. That's what happens. So, I have completely forsaken extra health for extra damage. And that's kind of the way I play. But, thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comment section. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll release more content. I don't even know what that was. I'm releasing content every week. I'm going to try and release content either on a daily basis or um, at least four times a week now because I have I have been slowing down late recently and I want to kind of pick up the pace again. But please leave a like on the video if you think I did good, if you appreciate or if anything of this helped you out. And I will see you guys on the next one.